the James Webb Telescope has basically revealed the clearest image of Proxima b in history, uncovering stunning exposures concerning this potentially viable exoplanet. It obliges us as we set out on an endeavor through space to uncover the privileged secrets of Proxima b and check if it might be the next Earth. We should take off into the vast expanse of space, where a baffling planet exists in the habitable zone of its star Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't just any ordinary rock, it's Earth's cousin. Proxima b, located 4.2 light years from us, is covered in mystery and wonder. Could it at some point be another Earth with oceans and life flowing across its surface? But wait, there's more. Proxima b isn't alone in its orbit around the red dwarf star. It has a companion, Proxima Centauri c, which could uncover even more secrets the star system holds. Perhaps there is another companion that we haven't found yet. The mystery doesn't end there. Proxima Centauri generates nearly the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this really mean there's water on its surface? Perhaps life as we know it could exist beyond our solar system. As we journey farther into space, we encounter a totally new universe of exoplanets. Planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. With 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, the opportunities for exoplanets are endless. Some even wander through space untethered to any star, like rogue pioneers. Among them, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a truly astonishing and bewildering planet. With a year lasting just 11.2 Earth days, its distance from its star is much closer than Earth's distance from the Sun. This means that one side of the planet is perpetually bathed in light while the other remains in eternal darkness. Now, let's explore Proxima Centauri, the star around which Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. This system includes Alpha Centauri a and b, two G-type and K-type stars that appear as one in the constellation Centaurus and are the third brightest stars in our night sky. Proxima Centauri, also called Alpha Centauri c, is a red dwarf or M-type star located 4.24 light-years from the other two stars, making it the closest star to our solar system. Proxima Centauri means the closest star in Latin, and it was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn. Despite being the closest star to us, Proxima Centauri remains invisible to the naked eye due to its apparent size of just 11.13 magnitudes far beyond the limit of human vision. However, don't let that fool you. Proxima Centauri is still a star worth studying. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient in terms of energy production. While they may not emit much light, the convection process at their centers keeps them shining for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another four trillion years. However, the habitability of a red dwarf like Proxima Centauri is still debated. For one, it's a flare star, which means it undergoes frequent and unpredictable outbursts of radiation. As a low-mass star, its habitable zone would be much closer to it than the sun's, likely between 0.23 and 54 cents. Yet, even this zone might not be as hospitable as it seems. Proxima b might not have a stable atmosphere, which is essential for maintaining conditions suitable for liquid water on its surface. Without this stability, life would be vulnerable to space weather, making it incredibly difficult for life to thrive. So, while Proxima b might seem Earth-like on the surface, it is far from being able to support life. Still, many scientists continue to hold hope. One tool that has captured the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Telescope. After several delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and is poised to help determine if there is life on Proxima b. However, as with everything in science, things are never as simple as they appear. Several modifications were necessary to ensure the James Webb Telescope could deliver precise images. As Abby Kaner, a theoretical physicist at Harvard, explains if a planet like Proxima b absorbs light from its star, it can also re-emit that light as infrared radiation. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect infrared light, allowing it to capture images of this radiation from the planet's surface and search for patterns that could confirm whether the planet has water or an atmosphere. But what if the planet's atmosphere is unsuitable for life? The mere presence of an atmosphere doesn't guarantee life, warns Ed Turner, 
an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick atmosphere much denser than Earth's, leading to extreme heat that would make life impossible. The mission to uncover the truth about Proxima b is not without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are many factors to consider. With costs mounting, space scientists are feeling the pressure to find a way to study planets like Proxima b. The stakes are high, but the rewards are even greater. The chance for a glimpse into the unknown, to uncover the secrets of a planet that could harbor the potential for life, is something any serious scientist would strive for. But could we even travel to Proxima b? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it exciting. It's almost like exploring our own backyard. Even more interesting is the fact that it's nearly the same size as Earth. Its position in the habitable zone suggests it could indeed have conditions suitable for life as we know it. Proxima b's proximity also makes it a viable target for our search for life beyond Earth. At just 4.2 light years away, it's an ideal candidate for interstellar missions. Now, consider the feasibility of exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. However, we can't go there just yet. It's certainly on the radar for future missions as technology progresses and makes such journeys more accessible. It's one of the most remarkable possibilities in the field of space exploration. However, it's no simple task to get there. It would take 75,000 years for spacecraft like Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. However, a proposal has been made involving solar sails, ultra-thin sails that could be used to accelerate a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima along with it. This technology uses solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating the problem of running out of fuel. With anticipated speeds of 10 to 20% of the speed of light, the journey to the Alpha Centauri system could be reduced to just 20 years. The discovery of Proxima b has reignited humanity's interest in space exploration. It has given us a renewed sense of hope that we are not alone in the universe. The James Webb Telescope is a marvel of modern technology capable of taking us back to the very beginning of the universe, 13.7 billion years ago. This is the carefully preserved mystery. The farther an object is, the longer it takes for light to reach us. This means the James Webb Telescope can observe objects in the universe farther away than any other telescope before it. Additionally, it can detect these objects in longer infrared wavelengths of light, allowing us to see more distant stars with greater clarity than ever before. And here's something even cooler. This incredible technology can provide insight into the possibility of life on other planets like Proxima b. However, like with everything, there are some notable limitations. The presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee life. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick inhospitable atmosphere. But get this, the James Webb Telescope can detect such conditions if they emit just 5% of the planet's dayside brightness. While 5% might not sound like much, it's quite significant when dealing with a star that is generally dimmer than our sun. If Proxima b has intelligent life, they may be using bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side of the planet to the night side. How cool is that? There are countless exoplanets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes, with some being massive gas giants, while others resemble our own Earth. One type of exoplanet that has grabbed the attention of space experts is the gas giant. These planets are similar in structure to Jupiter and Saturn but are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been named Super Jupiters, surpassing even the largest planet in our solar system. However, that's not all. There are also hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit incredibly close to their host star. They exist in a scorching environment with temperatures high enough to melt metal. Imagine being able to observe such a planet up close, with its raging storms and intense heat. In addition to gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which are similar in size to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are hot Neptunes and mini-Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets are often shrouded in mystery, making their atmospheres hard to study from afar. Moreover, we shouldn't forget about terrestrial exoplanets, those that resemble our own Earth. These planets come in various sizes, from smaller than Earth to twice its size. There are also super-Earths, which have masses greater than twice that of our planet, but are lighter than Neptune. 
One of the most captivating exoplanets discovered recently is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. This planet is classified as a super Earth due to its larger size compared to Earth, but it's much more than just a planet. It might be the next step in our journey to uncovering the mysteries of the universe. The discovery of Proxima Centauri b has sparked a renewed interest in the search for life beyond our planet. While much about this exoplanet remains speculative, its potential for habitability makes it a key target for astronomers. One of the most compelling aspects of Proxima b is its location in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on the planet's surface, a key ingredient for life as we know it. However, Proxima b is not the only exoplanet in the habitable zone of its star that scientists are studying. There are many other planets in the galaxy that also orbit stars within their respective habitable zones. These planets could potentially offer similar conditions for life, but their distance from Earth and the limitations of current space exploration technology make them challenging to study in detail. The growing field of exoplanet research is constantly evolving, with new methods and instruments being developed to detect and analyze distant worlds. The Kepler Space Telescope, for example, has identified thousands of exoplanets, many of which fall within their star's habitable zones, increasing the likelihood of discovering Earth-like worlds. Despite the challenges, Space missions like the James Webb Space Telescope are pushing the boundaries of what is possible in astronomical observation. The telescope's ability to analyze exoplanet atmospheres, measure their composition, and detect the presence of water vapor, methane, or oxygen could provide valuable insights into the habitability of planets like Proxima b. Such missions are not just about confirming whether a planet could support life, but also about understanding the environmental conditions that make a planet potentially habitable. Proxima Centauri b's proximity to Earth, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal candidate for future space missions. If technological advancements in propulsion systems continue to progress, it might one day be possible to send spacecraft to the Proxima Centauri system. Concepts like Breakthrough Starshot, which aims to send small, light-powered probes to Alpha Centauri within a few decades, could pave the way for such interstellar missions. These tiny spacecraft would travel at a significant fraction of the speed of light, drastically reducing the travel time to Proxima Centauri b. In the meantime, Earth-based observatories and telescopes continue to monitor exoplanets like Proxima b. Instruments on Earth can analyze the star's light as it passes through the planet's atmosphere, searching for any chemical signatures that could indicate biological processes or unusual atmospheric conditions. While these methods are still in their infancy, they represent an exciting avenue for future research. As we learn more about exoplanets like Proxima b, we also confront fundamental questions about our place in the universe. Are we truly alone, or is life elsewhere a distinct possibility? The study of exoplanets not only helps us understand the diversity of planetary systems, but also challenges our assumptions about the conditions necessary for life. Each discovery brings us one step closer to answering these profound questions about the nature of life in the cosmos. The exploration of Proxima Centauri b and other exoplanets is not just about the potential for life beyond Earth. It's also about understanding the vast diversity of planets that exist in the universe. In addition to rocky, Earth-like planets in the habitable zone, there are many other types of exoplanets, each offering unique opportunities for scientific discovery. Some of these include gas giants, ice giants, and even rogue planets, worlds that don't orbit any star but drift freely through space. Gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn are particularly interesting to astronomers. While they may not be candidates for life due to their hostile, gaseous environments, studying them can provide valuable insights into planetary formation, atmospheric dynamics, and the evolution of planetary systems. Some of the most fascinating gas giants discovered orbit much closer to their stars than any planets in our solar system. These planets, known as hot Jupiters, are subject to extreme temperatures that can reach thousands of degrees, offering an opportunity to study the behavior of gas giants in extreme environments. They also raise the question of how such planets form and how their atmospheres evolve over time, shedding light on planetary science in a way that could inform our understanding of the solar system's own formation. Meanwhile, 
the discovery of exoplanets that closely resemble Earth has opened up new lines of research into the possibility of life beyond our planet. The hunt for habitable planets, however, goes beyond the search for Earth-like worlds. Scientists are also interested in exoplanets that may have conditions conducive to alternative forms of life, which may not require the same conditions we have here on Earth. These planets may have different atmospheres, surface conditions, or chemical compositions that could sustain life in ways we haven't yet considered. In addition to Proxima Centauri b, other notable exoplanets have been discovered within the habitable zones of their respective stars. For instance, the TRAPPIST-1 system, located around 40 light years away, contains seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are in the habitable zone. These planets offer another intriguing possibility for life beyond Earth, with researchers already studying their atmospheres to determine if they could support liquid water. The discovery of these potentially habitable planets demonstrates how common such planets might be throughout the galaxy, further fueling our curiosity about whether life exists elsewhere. But the study of exoplanets is not only about finding life. It's also about understanding the conditions under which planets can sustain habitability. For instance, an exoplanet's atmosphere plays a critical role in regulating its surface temperature, and understanding how these atmospheres work can provide key insights into planetary climates, including those of Earth. Studying the atmospheres of exoplanets in detail could also reveal other key components necessary for life, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, or oxygen. As we continue to make strides in the study of exoplanets, Space agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency are working toward building next-generation telescopes and instruments to further advance our understanding of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unprecedented infrared capabilities, is just the beginning. In the coming years, scientists hope to use data from a variety of new missions to confirm the existence of Earth-like exoplanets, study their atmospheres in greater detail, and perhaps find evidence that life may be more widespread than we ever imagined.